Hello everyone. In this session, uh, I'm going to show how to create visualizations using Python and Python libraries. Uh, you may be aware that uh, Python has a lot of libraries that give us powerful visuals. There is no doubt that uh, Power BI in itself is sufficient for most of our needs. However, there can be situations where we need additional visuals that are not provided by Power BI. One such example is what you are seeing on your screen. This is a case of a scatter plot that shows the relationship between two variables. In fact, you can develop scatter plot using Power BI itself. You don't need the help of Python uh, and Python libraries. However, if you see this particular graph, I have introduced additional combinations. I am essentially studying the relationship between charges and age for male and female and for smokers and non-smokers. So what is this data? Let's see the data once and then we will come back to this graph. The data I have is a case of uh, insurance industry. Uh, Insurance industry will charge uh, certain charges as the premium, as the annual premium based on your age, sex, BMI, children, whether you are a smoker or not, and which region you come from. These are the factors uh, that insurance companies consider before deciding on the charges. So I am trying to study the relationship between charges and uh, each of the variables okay however for this particular example I am studying the relationship between charges and age that is what I am trying to study however I want to see what is the relationship between charges and age for male and female and within them smokers and non-smokers this kind of visualization is not available in Power BI currently okay so we have to make use of Python scripts. So this kind of graph is generated using Python future that is available in Power BI. Can you see this? This will help you to introduce a Python visual within Power BI. So let's go and create that uh, Python visual in Power BI. Okay. The first step is to import the data uh, into Power BI. Let's do that now. Uh, no transformation is needed. So let's go and upload the data. Okay, let's load it. This should get completed uh, shortly. The data is successfully loaded uh, and let's check the fields. We have age, BMI, charges, children, uh, region, sex, and smoker. Okay. So now to create the Python visual, we will click this, right? And let's enable this. Okay. Uh, please note that Python needs to be installed in your system. Okay. For creating Python visuals in Power BI. So let's enable this. Okay. And let's make this bigger. And now, uh, what we have to do is, we have to create a data frame, okay. Data frame is a structure uh, that is there in uh, Python for working on tabular data, okay. So, for creating data frame, what you need to do is, let's select the fields. As you can see here, the data frame is getting created. See this here, pandas the data frame. Pandas is a library. And we are creating the data frame containing uh, the fields, age, BMI, charges, children, region, sex, and smoker. Right? So now we have created this. I am copying the codes uh, that are going to be used. Uh, we are importing NumPy pandas. In fact, this is already imported uh, in the system. Right? And I am importing Seaborn. The graph that I'm going to be creating, the visualization I'm going to be creating, uh, comes from Seaborn. Seaborn is a library. 
and we are going to use matplotlib.pyplot to display it in our screen. Okay. So what I'm creating is a scatter plot uh, between age and charges for smokers, non-smokers, and sex. Okay. And I'm using the data set that is created out of these. Okay. So now let's uh, run this and we will see the results. See it is running. As I said, Python needs to be installed in your system for you for this to work. Okay. We have the results now. Let's minimize the Python script editor and you can see the visual in Power BI itself. Okay. So, as I explained earlier, I am studying the relationship between age and charges for male and female and within that smokers and non-smokers. So, this kind of multi-dimensional scatter plot is not currently available in Power BI. However, Python Seabone library provides this kind of option and so we are using that option within Power BI. Right? Isn't this cool? Okay.